Welcome to Study with Math Mark class. My name is Nadia Sanjum Nahian. I'm the first member of Study with Math Mark class. Today I will show angles and different types of angles. Let's start. First, over here, I'm drawing an angle. So this is an angle. The meaning of angle is it's two straight lines that join together and make an end point. So this is an angle. Now I'm going to label this angle. Suppose this is A. This is B and this is C. So I told you the definition of angle. Now I'm going to show you different types of angles. Let's start. For number one, we have the acute angle. Acute angle. So over here I'm writing acute angle. In our visual figure we see the acute angle. So the definition of acute angle is it's an angle that is less than it is less than 90 degrees it is less than 90 degrees over here i'm going to draw an angle this angle is not this is this angle is less than 90 degrees suppose this is 20 degrees if it's an acute angle it must have to be less than 90 degrees suppose this is another acute angle it's almost 90 degrees, but it's still less than 90 degrees. This is like 80 degrees. So it's an acute angle. So if the acute angle turns to 90 degrees, it's not going to be an acute angle anymore. It's going to turn into a right angle. So over here, I'm writing right angle. In our visual figure, we see the right angle. Right angle. Right angle. So the definition of right angle is, an, it's an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. So I'm writing here exactly 90 degrees. Over here I'm going to draw an angle. This angle is exactly 90 degrees. So this angle is a right angle. If an angle is, if an angle is more than 90 degrees, it's not going to be a right angle. It's going to be called an obtuse angle. So it's going to be an obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. It's going to be called an obtuse angle. The meaning of obtuse angle is it's an angle that is more than that is more than that is more than 90 degrees and less than and it's less than 180 degrees. Suppose over here I'm drawing an obtuse angle. This is an obtuse angle because this angle is more than 90 degrees and it's less than 180 degrees. So this is called an obtuse angle. We see in our visual figure different types of obtuse angles. Students, what happens when the Obtuse angle turns to 180 degrees. It's going to be a straight line. This side is going to be a straight line and that side is going to be a straight line. So it's not going to be an obtuse angle. It's going to be called a straight angle. Number four, which is a straight angle. Straight angle. It's called a straight angle. The meaning of straight angle is, it's an angle that is exactly 180 degrees. So I'm writing it down, exactly 180 degrees. I'm going to draw a straight angle over here. This is, an, this is a straight angle because this angle is a straight line and it's exactly 180 degrees. So what if the straight angle turns bigger and it turns like this? It's more than 180 degrees. It's not going to be a straight angle. It's going to be called a reflex angle. In our visual figure, we see the reflex angle. Reflex angle. Reflex angle. We see different types of reflex angles in our visual figure. So the, de the definition of reflex angle is, it's an angle that is more than 100 de 180 degrees. So I'm writing here more than, it's more than 180 degrees. And it's less than 360 degrees. Less than 
360 degrees. 360 degrees is the first full circle, so it has to be less than 360 degrees. Suppose if I draw an angle. This angle is a reflexing because it's more than 180 degrees. It's not a straight line anymore. It's getting bigger and bigger. And it's smaller than 360 degrees because, look, it's not a full circle yet. So this is a reflex angle. In our visual figure, we see different types of reflex angles, how it changes bigger or smaller. It's always going to be smaller than 180 and smaller than 360 degrees and more than 180 degrees, no matter how big it is or small it is. Now let's move on to number six. Number six, let's see what number six is. If this reflex angle changes into 360 degrees, it's not going to be a reflex angle. It's going to be a full angle. A full angle. The definition of full angle is, it's an angle that is exactly 360 degrees. Exactly 360 degrees. Over here I'm drawing a full angle. The students, I'm drawing another full angle here. This is a full angle. A full angle is like a circle because a circle is 360 degrees. So now, today I discussed about types of angles. Now I'm going to explain it again. Acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. In our visual figure, we see different types of acute angles. Then we have right angle. Right angle is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. We also see right angles in our visual figure. Then we have the obtuse angle. Obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees, and it's less than 180 degrees. And 180 degrees is a straight line. In our visual figure, we see different types of obtuse angles. Then we have straight angle. A straight angle is exactly 180 degrees, which is a straight line. In our visual figure, we see the different, we see a straight angle, because there's only one straight angle which is just a straight line, and which is 180 degrees. Then for number five, it's reflex angle. The meaning of reflex angle is, it's more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. We see different types of reflex angles in our visual figure. Then we have our last one, full angle. Full angle is exactly 360 degrees. It's a circle. In our visual figure, we see the full angle. Students, I discussed about angles and different types of angles. Thanks for watching this class.